Hi, this is Andrew Barda from Tech21. I'm here to show you the SANS and PSA 2.0. What is a PSA? A PSA stands for Programmable SANS Amp. Let me give you a little history lesson. It started with the original classic SANS Amp. In 1989, this was one of the first amp simulators out on the market and certainly the first analog one. And it's still fully analog. And then soon we discovered that people used it in a studio many times, not just for guitar, but bass, vocals, uh, drums. So we decided to make a rack mount version of it. The original rack mount Sans Amp was not even programmable. It was called the RM1 Rack Mount 1 because we wanted to create something for studios. And I know several uh, engineers who had like 10 of them or 12 of them ran it on separate tracks. So it was a staple in the studio. And that gave us the idea to go to the next step and develop a programmable version of it. That was the PSA one. This small pedal packs all the punch that the rack mount version did and more. We made some additional improvement, but we kept the signal chain exactly the same. So you can use it as an amp simulator or you can use it as a stomp box. If you push the two other buttons, it's in performance mode and you access your three favorite sounds and you can go into bypass by pushing the same button that you pushed last. So it's effectively becomes a stomp box, but it's programmable. So even on the fly, when you're on stage and you turn, let's say you need a little more volume or a little more uh, bass, it's instant response. And if you like the sound, all it takes is just push the save button and it's, it's ready to go. So it, it, you don't have to get into menus and try to figure out what to do, especially when you're in a dark club and maybe you had a couple of drinks. You know, that's very helpful. It's all analog. There is no digital uh, processing in the signal path. There's no latency and the signal is infinite resolution unlike any kind of a converter. Digital amp simulation is basically using an algorithm to copy an amplifier signal path. This unit actually creates a signal path. So therefore you have infinite variability between different uh, breakups and EQs in different stages of that amplifier. So now you're not locked in just one Fender style sound or one Marshall style sound, but you can dial in between. And you can also dial it in with your guitar. You're not locked into one particular amp that maybe doesn't work with your guitar, but you can custom tailor it to your guitar and make it sound exactly what you hear. See, many artists came to me and they said that they have a certain sound in their head and sometimes they are able to accomplish it with their setup, sometimes they're not. And this is the beauty of the PSA that you can dial that in without having a expert engineer modifying your amp. You are modifying your own amp by turning the dials like this and instantly saving it. What's better than that? It does many, many things besides amp simulation. It does overdrive simulations, uh, fuzz simulations, um, distortion simulation, and even EQ. You can use it as a clean EQ if you want to get a clean sparkling sound and immediately switch into like a dirty sound. It's right there. The main problem with pedal boards now nowadays, if you set up your pedal board for a great overdrive sound and you have a great overdrive, you need to set up your amp very flat. Otherwise, it's just going to be missing some of the spectrum. But in a minute, when you turn off that overdrive, you're getting your clean sound. It's uninteresting. It doesn't have any sparkle, doesn't have any life next to it. So you need a preamp that provides that. But this is all in here. So when you turn off your overdrive, you can go to a clean sound and it's immediately works great with your amp that is set flat. Otherwise, you have to re-cue your amp. And of course, you don't have time for that on stage. 
So this is a great addition to your pedal board to expand the, the, uh, the possibilities of getting great clean sound and great overdrive sounds. What you have to also keep in mind, uh, the PSA is not particularly just for guitar or bass. Actually, we had very famous producers and engineers used it on vocals, on drums especially, uh, Chad Blake, live enough vocals like uh, Muse used it on distorted vocals. And I'm talking about the original Ragnar. But this one has the same signal path. So imagine that you could just, uh, you know, run your vocals through it and you get that uh, Rod Stewart like, uh, uh, you know, husky voice. Uh, people are very familiar with the term reamping. Reamping is basically running through your tracks, an amplifier and mic it up. This little boss can do that without doing a huge setup. How convenient that is to put all that processing power into such a small package. You can carry it with you. You can put it in your, I don't have a pocket, but you could put it in if you have like one of these little pockets here and you would look very geeky, but uh, you know, you, you can take it to your recording session and you, you can run your uh, drums, uh, vocals, guitars, whatever bass through it and you get a great uh, sound. It works with the nine volt power supply also has a MIDI input, so you can sync it with your, with your other effects. The unit is extremely easy to program. All you need to do is turn the knobs to the sound that you want, then push save. And then if you want to save it to the same location, push save again. But if you want to find a new spot, then you find your new spot and then you push save. In performance mode, saving is even simpler. Going to performance mode, pushing the two outside buttons, give you three sounds and a bypass. If you push the same button again, that's bypass, and three of your favorite sounds. You need to modify that. Let's say, take a little bit less low. You did it. And then you push save only once, and it's already saved. By the way, the speaker simulation also is savable so right now it's on right now it's off so now if it's, i save it i go to another preset come back to three actually three no speakers in thanks for watching stay safe